Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. What I would like to cover in this module is how to link an access database table into an Excel spreadsheet or workbook. And I'm going to do it two different ways. The first way, I'm going to go to the data tab and get data. And you've got all these different options, but I'm just going to pick from database because Microsoft Access is one of the options there. So I'll click on that. And then you have to navigate to find your database, which mine is in examples and access. And the one I want is company records. So it's connecting up to the data source and then it loads company records with all the tables you can see there. And that's the one I want address details. Now you've got the option to transform this data if you need to in um, query editor, but I'm just going to load it. And there you go, it comes in as a formatted table. So I'm in table design. Now, if I go into this file in access and add a new record or continue adding a record, so I've already started that one. So company records and address details. So let's say 21 Blue House Street. Bradford, West Yorkshire, BD71RT, and today's date, date checked. So I don't need the telephone numbers. So I'll close that, and then back in Excel, if I go to, I'm still on the table design tab. If I refresh, that should refresh that address details, and you can see it there across the bottom. So that's the first um, way of doing it. And the second way is through a pivot table. So on the second sheet, I'm going to click on insert pivot table. So you get the pivot table and this is the option I'm going to use. So use an external data source, choose connection. So if you've already done it, it will be there like that one. Um, you've got tables as an option, but um, I don't want that. I want to browse for more. I browse for the same place, examples, access, and this time I'm going for a different database, this one, AMAC, and new worksheet or existing worksheet, leave it as it is. You can add this to the data model, but I don't want to. I just want to do a simple import into a pivot table. So there's your pivot table and these are all your fields. So these are the access fields. So what I want to do here is if I go by roles by department and then salary or we'll summarize salary, I'll just click on that and value field settings to format that to number format to accounting. I'm just obsessed about doing that, but there you go. And what can I put across the top? So we've got, if I put surname, does it go a bit cluttered? Okay, I'll leave it like that. So remember, this is um, an access table, looking at an access table. So that is as it is at the minute. Now, if I go into the access file again and go um, file open, and there she blows. I'll open that one. Now it's saying there, this has been opened in read only. You can only change it. So it's only allowing me to open this in read only. That is because I've got it opened in theory in this Excel file. So I'm just going to save this as um, test because I can't think of anything else to put, call it. I'll put it in there. Hopefully there's not another one called test. And then I'll close it. And then I'll go back to access and just come out of this one. Close that one down. Come back into access and just open it up again. So it should let me open it now. There it is. And then I can open that table. So I'm just going to add another record at the bottom. Um, that should be nine, shouldn't it? So 
So this is another. In fact, Mrs. Saxton isn't his first name. There's no first name. This is Saxton on this one. Can be in the training department. She can be on one pound fifty. Three thousand. She joined today, and it's not vatable. So that's uh, something else. I don't really want that there. But there's there's me adding a new record. Mrs. Saxton as opposed to Mr. Saxton. If I close that down and come back to Excel. Open up test, which should load the data, enable content, and then if I click into this, under the pivot table feature, should have refresh. Okay, I need to close that down, cancel that, left that open, close. So try that again, refresh. And there it comes in at the bottom. It's not, I've not got it qualified by uh, appointment, title, should I say? What happens if I put title in there? Yeah, that looks silly. Let's pull that off. So really, the database needs to be formatted so you can see the first and second name. But there you go. It's picked that up on a refresh. The only downside to this is obviously. If you're working on a network and people leave the file open, then you're only going to get a read-only copy and you won't necessarily know who's got the file open or who's left it open. And I've seen that happen a few times in different organizations. But that's all I wanted to show in this little phase. So it's basically getting data from the data tab to bring the table in en masse and it's formatted as a table, but it's still updated when you update it in Access and then bring it as a pivot table um, using the pivot table tools from the insert tab and click off that picking the um, external data option so that's it thank you for your time i'll see you in the next one